Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we will be looking at deviation from social norms, which you need to know for AQA level psychology in the subtopic of psychopathology. I hope you enjoy this video and find it helpful. Let's get started. Deviation from social norms is a definition of abnormality, defined as abnormal behavior that goes against or contravenes laws, unwritten rules, or expectations in a given society, culture, or situation. Therefore, any behavior that does not conform to accepted or expected standards is abnormal. For example, respect for human life, queuing at a bus stop, greeting etiquette, dress codes, personal space. A strength of deviation from social norms as a definition of abnormality is that it gives society the right to intervene and helps to improve the lives of people suffering from mental disorders who may not be able to get help themselves. If used correctly, this definition can have a significantly positive impact on the lives of mentally ill people. By identifying behaviors that deviate from accepted social norms, mental health professionals can better recognize individuals who may be struggling and in need of support. This proactive approach allows for early intervention, which can lead to timely treatment and improved outcomes for those affected. Furthermore, societal intervention can also raise awareness about mental health issues, reducing stigma and encouraging more people to seek help. In this way, the definition not only serves to protect individuals but also promotes a more compassionate and understanding community. This is a strength because it suggests that by recognizing and addressing behaviors that deviate from social norms, society can play a crucial role in supporting those who may not be able to advocate for themselves. It highlights the importance of early intervention, which can lead to better mental health outcomes and foster a more inclusive and understanding community for individuals facing mental health challenges. A strength of deviation from social norms as a definition of abnormality is that it can help to protect members of society. Norms within societies are usually developed and designed to help society function adequately. When individuals exhibit behaviors that significantly deviate from these norms, it can signal potential risks not just to themselves but to others as well. For example, behaviors that are considered harmful or dangerous may prompt intervention from mental health professionals law enforcement, or community support systems. By addressing these deviations, society can ensure a safer environment for everyone. This protective aspect is particularly important in maintaining social order and preventing harm. Additionally, it can lead to the development of support systems that assist those struggling with mental health issues, ultimately fostering a healthier community. This is a strength because it suggests that deviation from social norms can serve as an important indicator of behaviors that may require attention or intervention. By identifying these deviations, society can take proactive steps to support individuals who may be struggling, ensuring that they receive the necessary help while also maintaining the safety and well-being of the community as a whole. This approach emphasizes the role of social norms in guiding appropriate behavior and highlights the importance of a collective effort in addressing mental health challenges. A limitation of deviation from social norms as a definition of abnormality is that not all behavior that deviates from social norms is a sign of illness. For instance, while speeding is dangerous and considered a deviation from societal rules, it does not necessarily indicate that the individual is experiencing a mental illness. Many people may engage in risky behaviors for various reasons, such as stress, thrill-seeking, or situational factors, without having a psychological disorder. This distinction is important because it suggests that using social norms as the sole criterion for determining abnormality can lead to mislabeling certain behaviors as pathological. It risks overlooking the complexity of human behavior, where motivations and context play crucial roles. Additionally, this perspective may contribute to stigmatization of individuals who engage in non-normative behaviors that are not harmful or indicative of mental health issues. Thus, relying too heavily on deviation from social norms could result in misunderstanding and misdiagnosis, ultimately hindering the proper identification and treatment of genuine mental health conditions. This is a limitation because it suggests that the definition of abnormality based solely on social norms can lead to an oversimplification of complex human behaviors. It may result in unfair labeling of individuals who engage in non-normative actions, 
as their behaviors could stem from various motivations that do not indicate mental illness. Such an approach risks ignoring the nuances of individual circumstances and the context in which behaviors occur, potentially leading to stigma and misunderstanding of mental health issues. A limitation of deviation from social norms as a definition of abnormality is that the social norms definition could be used as an abusive instrument of social control. This means that behaviors deemed abnormal could be labeled as such not necessarily due to genuine mental health concerns, but rather to suppress or control individuals whose actions challenge societal expectations. For example, individuals who express alternative lifestyles, beliefs, or behaviors that diverge from mainstream norms might be pathologized simply for being different. For instance, in the late 1950s in Russia, anyone who disagreed with the government risked being diagnosed as insane and placed in a mental institution. This misuse of the social norms definition can lead to the stigmatization of those who do not conform, potentially resulting in discrimination and marginalization. It raises ethical concerns about the power dynamics involved in defining what constitutes normal behavior. Furthermore, it could result in the unjust treatment of individuals, where they may face coercive measures or forced interventions under the guise of maintaining social order. This is a limitation because it suggests that the criteria for defining abnormality may be overly reliant on subjective societal standards, which can vary greatly across different cultures and time periods. This variability means that what is considered normal in one context may be viewed as abnormal in another, leading to inconsistencies in the application of psychological assessments. Furthermore, this reliance on social norms can obscure the underlying psychological or medical issues that may be present, as it prioritizes conformity over individual differences and experiences. A limitation of deviation from social norms as a definition of abnormality is that it lacks temporal validity. This means that social norms are not static, they evolve, change and vary over time, which can result in behaviors being classified as abnormal in one era and acceptable in another, as behaviors that is socially acceptable now may suddenly be seen as socially deviant later and vice versa. For example, homosexuality, which was once considered deviant and a mental disorder, is now considered socially acceptable. This fluidity complicates the understanding of what constitutes abnormal behavior. As norms change, individuals who may have been labeled as abnormal in the past could be seen as perfectly normal today. This inconsistency raises questions about the reliability of using social norms as a benchmark for abnormality. Additionally, this definition can lead to the marginalization of individuals who do not conform to current norms. When society's standards change, those who were previously deemed abnormal may find themselves in a more favorable position, while others may be newly categorized as deviant. This is a limitation because it suggests that the definition of abnormality is overly reliant on subjective societal standards, which can lead to inconsistent and potentially harmful classifications of individuals. By basing abnormality on social norms that are subject to change, it risks pathologizing, behaviors that may simply reflect cultural diversity or personal differences. This can perpetuate stigma and discrimination against those who do not conform to current societal expectations, ultimately undermining the goal of understanding and supporting mental health. A limitation of deviation from social norms as a definition of abnormality is that it suffers from cultural bias. This means that what is considered normal behavior can vary significantly across different cultures. For instance, certain behaviors that are accepted and celebrated in one culture may be viewed as abnormal or deviant in another. This cultural perspective can lead to misunderstandings and misdiagnoses when mental health professionals apply a universal standard based on their own cultural norms. For example, Cochrane, 1977, found that black people were more commonly diagnosed as schizophrenic in the UK compared to white people or Asians. However, Jamaica, a country that has a predominantly black population has very low diagnosis rate for schizophrenia. Moreover, this bias can marginalize individuals from minority cultures, making them more vulnerable to being labeled as abnormal simply because their behaviors or beliefs do not align with the dominant culture standards. This limitation suggests that behaviors labeled as abnormal may not accurately reflect an individual's mental health but rather the cultural biases of the observer. 
This raises ethical concerns about the fairness and accuracy of using social norms as a standard for abnormality, as it overlooks the rich diversity of human experiences. Such a viewpoint can lead to inappropriate labeling, where professionals might disregard the cultural context of certain behaviors. Consequently, relying on this definition can perpetuate stereotypes and increase stigma against marginalized groups, ultimately hindering effective mental health support and treatment. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye.